Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through the best guns to kill PMCs for a good price. Obviously, spending a lot on a gun is quite hard early on in the game because losing that gun sucks. So you want to have a good budget gun to kill those good players when you come across them in the game. And I think I've got a good little selection here for the best guns to do that. So we're going to start off with a PP91 Kedder. This is one of my favourites. This is my Hatchling gun. If I'm going in really, really light, this is the gun I run. And the reason for that is because I've taken out PMCs with this many times. The ammo I'm going to run is the SP7. Now, this is a really good round to do damage to flesh. It does about 70 damage to flesh. So, basically, when you come up against a PMC with this, you want to be aiming for the legs. Because that's where the damage is going to be done on their legs. And this will rip through them. So, basically, the way you want to work it is if you can catch a PMC coming to a marked room. Or you can catch a PMC coming around the corner and you are well placed with your Kedda to nail their legs more often than not or maybe about 50 50 because it's still hard to kill geared players with a weapon like this you are going to be able to drop that player before they react obviously if they know you're coming you're going to struggle a lot with this weapon if they're coming around with a loaded weapon it's not going to be the best but it is the cheapest one here as well with the price coming in at around 13,000. you can see you can pick one up for a 13 there you can pick another one up for 15 if you wanted to so this is a really good start around if you're looking to just run in as a hatchling don't go in with nothing. Go in with something like this. It'll tear through other hatchlings in the game. Pistols and, you know, you come up against people with Mosins quite often, which we're going to be going on to in a bit. But this close range will tear through any of that. It's a really good option. And you can definitely catch PMCs out with it. I caught a couple of PMCs the other day with the killer armor. One of, one of them had the helmet. The other one had the armor, but the armor was dead. It was in his backpack. They'd torn straight through it and took it off him. And they were coming back down the stairs and I managed to laser one as they were coming down in the legs. And this was back down the stairs of interchange. Then I had a bit of a back and forth with the other one. I did manage to get the headshot on him. Luckily, because his legs were covered, I couldn't even hit him in the legs if I wanted to. And I was almost dead. I had some meds with me, luckily. And I managed to med up and I took the killer armor off them and left, which was buzzing. And that was against two PMCs who were much more loaded than me. Obviously, I took their guns and things like that as well. So that was a pretty good run for me because it can be done. But usually, if I see a PMC and he sees me at the same time, it's a very tough ass with this weapon. There's no two ways about that. Now, moving on to the next weapon, we have an AK-74M. Now, this is a high recoil weapon, as all AKs are. So, I do like to add some things to it to make the recoil a lot better. So that when we use it, we do have a better chance of obviously killing that high-end PMC. So, if we unfold it, you can see now it goes for filter by item. 22k but it's a bit more expensive it's usually around 25k you can see there are a lot here between that price range and you can get a good one here for say 24k so it's around that price range to start us off but i do think you want to add some things to it and the things we have to add to it here are we have a recall pad that we're going to put on the back and i love this thing because it's so cheap and it actually does a lot let's have a little look again you can see it does five percent on the recall which is buzzing really and this on the market goes for around 3k right now. So 3k for 5 recoil. That is absolutely fantastic. So let's chuck that on the weapon there. Next up we have the PWS which is a muzzle break. Going for around 17 right now. This is really expensive for this at the moment. You can see it comes in at 11 if it's on the market. But you can regularly pick it up for say 15. Right now it's 17. That's really expensive. But put that on as well. And again let's just have a little look at what it does for the weapon. It's minus 11 recoil. You cannot argue with this for the price, although 17 is quite expensive, it's usually a bit cheaper. But for a minus 11 recoil, it's well worth having, of course. And then last but not least, well, we've got two items here. First, it's the PK-06, currently coming in about 15, yeah, 16 and a half. It's a little bit later, I think things are a bit more expensive. And to go with that, we have a mount, which is going to obviously sit on the back. And this is about 5k, the mount is exactly 5k, uh, well, not quite exactly so not bad at all for the weapon and the upgrades on this one. So overall, I think it comes in about 25, 30, 40, around 50,000 before we put the bullets in. And the bullets we will be putting in and the ones I will run will be BS. Now they are around the K a K bullet. So overall, if you were to add that to the price, it'd be up to around 70 to have a mag with this. But I think that's a really good price for this gun because this is able to kill people straight in the chest. You could hit someone like Killer straight in the chest with a gun like this and he would drop eventually. It will be able to tear through armor. That's the beauty about this gun. With the BS bullets, it'll be able to tear through armor. So if your shots are accurate, you're going to be able to kill anybody. Same goes with headshots. If you're accurate with your headshots, you'll be able to kill people with helmets and things like that. 
So this is for me a great starter gun at the price that this goes for. It's one of the best guns on the game, early game, no doubt about that. And there is a video up on my channel as well about building this AK up as you go, just to get as you get better and as you're able to spend more. I've got a few different options for what you can do to upgrade your AK-74M if you are still using it. Now next up we're going to talk about the Mosim. Not one of my favourites but I know it is a fan favourite so I thought I would mention it. And it is extremely good at killing people in one shot. So it's definitely worth a mention, there's no doubt about that. So we've got the SMB bullets and the 7N37 as options. And of course the scope here, which isn't the cheapest. If we fill it by item on the scope it goes for around 12. And then we have the mount so let's say 15 odd for the scope which is cheap actually not the cheapest the mosim itself goes for filter by item around 30,000 so you're looking at about 45,000 to get the gun ready to go now this is going to be able to one shot so many people we've got two bullets here now two bullet options one's really expensive one's really reasonable so you've got the smb filter by item and that's around 379 per round now you're thinking that's quite expensive but it's actually not for a sniper bullet, that is extremely reasonable. And you are going to be able to one-shot people with that bullet plenty. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But if you want to go crazy and you really want to make sure you're going to be dropping people more often than not, you're going to want to go for the 7N37. And if we fill it by item, you can see that it's currently coming in about 1.3. It was 1.5 earlier, so it's actually come down a little bit. But 1.3 a shot, you want to be accurate with that. Otherwise, those rubles are just heading over the shoulder. But if you do fancy yourself as somewhat of a sniper, I do suggest you go and pick this one up because this is going to drop a lot of people. And on certain maps like Woods, it's absolutely fantastic. On other maps, not so good in my opinion. You want something that can shoot a bit faster. But on Woods especially, the Mosim is king and it will drop a lot of geared players. There's nothing they can do about it with a headshot from a Mosim. They're going down no matter what they've got in their head, which is nice. Next on the list here, and a gun I much prefer as a sniper option, is a Hunter. It doesn't actually come with sniper bullets, it comes with M61, which again is my favourite round on the game. And this is such a good weapon for being able to shoot multiple shots relatively fast to put two or three bullets into a PMC. And then that should be enough as long as you're accurate enough. And this gun comes in at a price of, what's it coming in at? A 42k right now, it's a little bit expensive. I'm sure it was a bit cheaper than that, about 35 during the day. Maybe it's because it's night time, it's a little bit more expensive, who knows. But yeah, it's coming out 42 right now, so it's not cheap, obviously. And then the M61 bullets are not cheap to go with it. You can see about 40 there. They're 1.2 per round, but they're really, really powerful bullets. They're going to be able to drop people, like I said, in one, two, maybe three bullets. And then the player will definitely drop. So for me, with the fact that it has 10 rounds in it straight away, there's no recog of anything. If you get a headshot, they're going to drop the same as the Mosim. And you can just fire bullet after bullet after bullet with this. Makes it a great, great choice and it easily kills PMCs. The bullets are too strong for any player in the game to survive. So it doesn't matter what they're wearing. If you land an M61 or SMB or 7N39 was it on someone, they're going down anyway. And Hunter is a great bullet to do just that with. So we'll put the bullet in there, a one bullet in there. And the scope we're going to go for with this is going to be the PSO, what's it, the Zenit. Belomo scope and yeah it does do a little bit of a minus to the aeronomics and it is not the nicest looking scope when you look through it and that probably reflects in the price with the price being only 12k but obviously we're trying to keep things out of budget here so this is going to be around a 50k gun around 60 with a mag in it something like that so we'll add the scope to that now and this is just a nice little weapon in game as well it feels good in game and it feels really powerful in game. It does not let you down, trust me. I've got a friend who loves this gun and he's cleaning up every day with it. Now onto something a little bit different. We have the VSS. Now this is a sniper rifle according to the game, but it doesn't have to act like a sniper rifle. It can go fully automatic and it can be shot very close range with a laser or something like that if you want to do it properly or just hip fired if you're accurate enough with your hip fired anyway. It's also relatively powerful depending on the rounds, or very powerful, should I say, depending on the rounds you put in. And this one, I've actually got a double round option for you. The, the bullets are very different in price, hence the reason I brought both of them. And I've also bought a 20 round clip here, which was not the original clip. The original clip it'll come with is a 10, which I pulled out because, you know, 20 is better, obviously. And this comes in at a price of 6K for the extended mag with this one. And then the VSS comes in at a price of 45. So we are moving up a little bit in the price of the builds here. 
So that puts us around 50. But the beauty about this one is it doesn't really have much else that you need. Where's the scope for this? Oh, yeah, I, I remember. We're pulling the scope off this, and we're just going to do it like that. It's the same scope to keep the price down. So, again, we will be using the same scope on this one. It will be the Zenit Belomo PSO if you want to use this build. And as for the bullets now, you've got the BP option, which is the daddies. These are the big boys. 145, but this gun shoots so fast on fully automatic that your 145 bullets will be gone in an instant. So you need to be accurate if you're going to unload the clip. And it will do the job if it's accurate. But you need to be accurate if you're going to unload the clip. If not, have it on single fire. Make sure you're hitting your shots. And you've got 20 in the clip to do the damage then, which is great. And then the backup option, which I still think is a really solid bullet. And, it, and it'll do a lot of damage in the game and do a really good job. Obviously not as good as the BPs, but that's going to be the case depending on what you pay for. Is going to be the SP6. It's 600, so it's less than half the price with that being 1.3, was it? 645, it's almost exactly half the price, actually, per round. And you're going to get yourself a well-performing bullet here, hence the reason it's so expensive. It's going to kill plenty of players as long as you're accurate enough with it. And the beauty about this one is you've also got that fully auto in case someone gets close. And that's what I like about this weapon is that if someone's at distance... Then you've got that sniper feel to the gun where you've got 20 shots and you can just pick your shot off. And then if someone gets close, you just press B, you change that fully auto, and then you can hit fire that gun. And it, if you're accurate enough with your shots, they'll drop no problem. Now, that's the first one, two, three, four, five guns out the way. And they're all good guns. I think they all have good merit, you know. But this gun for me is the daddy. This gun is my favorite weapon on the game right now. Not saying I would choose this weapon. If I was to choose any weapon on the game, I'd probably go for a high-end M4A1 or something like that. But this price versus the quality of what it does in game for me is unmatched in my experience. Also, let me know what your favorite starter guns is or what gun did I miss that should have been in this list. If you um, have one, leave it in the comment section down below for me. I'm always interested to know what guns are good value and things like that anyway. So, yeah, we have the M1A. Fill it by item. Let's see what it's going for right now. 62K. Now, I promise you, this gun will go for 50K during the day. I picked it up for 50K so many times, but it will go up to 60 at night as well. So, depending on what time you're buying, this is UK time as well. If you're buying at night, my radiator's in at the bottom here. My radiator's just chilling the whole time there. <laughs> yeah, so if you're buying this gun in the day, it's going to be... 10k cheaper if you're buying it at night it's going to be 10k more expensive 60k at the moment and because we're recording that's what we'll be going on now so it's 60k to get out of the um, gate then we've got a scope and we've got a mount for it so the mount is really cheap and the mount is with this scope as well if we fill it by item the mount is 3k they're never expensive no problem and the scope that we're going to be putting on it is 30k so already this is becoming somewhat of an expensive weapon gonna put that on there then and we're gonna put that on there and we're up at about 90k now for this weapon just with what we've done so far with the scope and the gun itself of course and then we have the clip and now this is one of the things i really love about it is that this clip is so good for m61 we're running that bullet again it's m61 the same as in the hunter it's such a powerful bullet that you can always rely on it and to be honest with 50 clip you can afford to miss shots that's what I love about it is that if you are struggling to hit someone, someone through the bushes, you want to send a few shots through some surface or something like that, you've got bullets to waste in this clip that you don't got to worry too much about you know, running out very, very soon. And obviously, if you bring a bit in your gamma, this is what I like to do. I like to bring extra bullets in my gamma and then I can fill the clip back up when the time's right because you carry 50 in the clip, you do not need to reload, which I think makes this gun a powerful option as well. It's like a sniper with 50 bullets in it. So we'll put that in there. And I just want to have a look at a few things here. So the X14 does hit you hard. As you can see with movement speed and all that kind of stuff. But it's a starter weapon as well. So you can't expect it to perform. And all these big mags do really hit you hard. It's a lot more weight carrying 50 bullets. And I love the way that's affected in the game anyway. So I have no problem with that. And like I said, this is a really good scope at 30k. Anyway, that is going to be it. These are my favorite choices. These are my favorite weapons, especially this one here, the Springfield Armory M1A. It's so fun to use in game and it is so reliable that you just feel dangerous when you're using it. Hopefully these come within your budget as well. Some of them, some of the standard ones, like I said, come in anyone's budget. If you can't afford to spend 50k on a weapon on this game, then you're clearly doing something wrong. 
And then some of them do get a little bit spicy, a little bit expensive at the end, but you get such a good weapon for such a small price, in my opinion. So that's where we're going to leave the video anyway. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy.